Yasharal. My name is Brother Gedaliah bin Yasharal. Shalom. Shalom, family. As always, we ask you to go get your Bibles, your scriptures, so that we can go ahead and get into some teaching, some information sharing, and some learning. But before we do that, we're going to have an opening scripture reading by Akiya Gedaliah. That opening scripture reading will be read from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Verse 1 reads, My son, do not forget my law, but take my instructions to heart. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Do not let mercy and truth forsake you. Tie them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your mind. Then you will find honor, high esteem, and approval in the eyes of Yahuwah and man. May the reading of the word of Yahuwah have a blessing in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, family. Once again, <laughs> welcome to Yahshua Commonwealth Ministries. Again, we hope you went and got your Bibles, uh, your scriptures, things you use to qualify and study uh, the word of the Creator, Yahuwah, basically, right? Today, we want to deal with how to honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah, brothers and sisters. How to honor Yahuwah, your father, and Torah, your mother, basically, right? So, and what I want to do with this is to show how that we are given the commandment to honor our father and our mother, right? Mm -hmm. And what we don't realize is that we also commanded to observe our Shemayim father, right? Our Shemayim Yahweh, Yahuwah, right? And that the wife of Yahuwah in this point, which is our mother, would be his spoken word Torah mm -hmm. that would nourish us and feed us and care for us, technically. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Heal us things like that. But we're also going to go ahead and make this understandable at the level of dealing with our physical father and mother as well. But understand, take this note that how to honor your father, your whore, and your mother, Torah, is super important and being obedient to the Creator and His spoken word, brothers and sisters. So let's start this off in Proverbs chapter 1. We're going to read verse 8, right? Proverbs 1, verse 8. Let's let the, the father and the mother tell us mm -hmm. how to observe them, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, verse 8. Uh -huh. My son, listen to the instructions of your father, and do not forsake the Torah or the teachings of the law of your mother. So which father is talking? We're talking about the creator, Yahuwah. He's talking, right? Through the mouth of King Solomon, basically, right? So what is he telling us? Hey, pay attention to the words, the doctrine of your father, and, and obey the law of your mother, mm -hmm. right? So his words, the spoken, the spoken law of Torah is our mother, brothers and sisters, and we're not to dishonor Yahuwah, our father, nor our mother, Torah, brothers and sisters. It ain't always about the physical thing they want to put right. on, on the truth. Right. No, this is all spiritual, because the father is a spirit, and he seek those to worship him in spirit yeah, and in truth. truth, right? So, hey, we starting off in the spirit and in truth, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. with Yahuwah, right? Let's go a little further. Let's go to the royal law. Let's go, let's go understand why the father says to obey his voice as your father and keep the law toward your mother, right? The same way we have to deal with our, our physical parents, right? So, Exodus chapter 20, let's read one verse here in the royal law, in the Ten Commandments, and they call the moral law, the laws of conduct, all that good stuff, right? But we know it's the royal law because our father is the ultimate king, right? He's the ultimate malek of the universe. Right. So, hey, we're going to deal with Yahuwah, our king, basically, right? Uh, Exodus 20, and let's pick it up at verse uh, 12, right? Go ahead. Huh? Verse 12. Uh -huh. Honor your father and your mother. Whoa, honor your father and your mother, just like we're supposed to honor Yahuwah, our father, and our mother, Torah, right? So he says, in the royal law, the Ten Commandments, he says, honor your father and your mother. Go ahead. So your days may be long upon the land which Yahuwah, your father, is giving you. Hey. He says that, do this, honor your father and your mother, so your days may be long upon the earth, which Yahuwah, your Yahweh, is giving you, right? So, 
It's like if a child is respectful of his parents' rules of the house, mm -hmm. they get to hang out longer than normal, mm -hmm. right? If you start going buck wild and start being disobedient, hey, as soon as you turn 18, you got to go, right? Because right? you want to be on your own, and so therefore, I'm going to give you room to be on your own. You don't want to be parented anymore. You don't want to be parented anymore, mm -hmm. right? So when you start saying the law is done away with, then you saying you don't want to be what? Parented. Parenting anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So now, you're losing the love of the father and your mother, Yahuwah and Torah, for his spoken word. Mm -hmm. But how are we supposed to honor our father and our mother in the physical, right? Let's get some examples, right? Let's go to Malachi chapter 19, right? Malachi chapter 19 is where we want to go. Because, hey, there are some things that Yahushua was explaining to the Pharisees and the Sadducees because they were harping on tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have a lesson, uh, the traditions of men have blotted out the name of Yahuwah, right. well, which is super important for people to go watch and understand. Mm -hmm. But let's see right here what we mean by that, is that they were talking about you got to wash your hands before you eat, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you're going to be clean, that's fine. But it's not a law of Yahuwah, right? right? But man make tradition look like laws, and that gets us in trouble yeah, with the father and our mother. Because now we say the law is done away with, so we are not trying to be parented by Yahuwah, the creator, our father, nor his spoken word, our mother, Torah. Mm -hmm. Right? You just make it all make sense. That's all it is, brothers and sisters. So I'm not going to tell you the law is done away with, because I have to obey the father, Yahuwah, mm -hmm. and my mother, Torah. You have to obey our Father Yahuwah and our Mother Torah, yeah. right? So, hey, in Malachi chapter 15, right? Let's pick it up at 19, I'm sorry, Malachi 19. Let's see how important honoring your father and your mother is in Torah or in the Ten Commandments are because it's going to lead us somewhere particularly, right? right. So, Malachi chapter 19, verse 16. Akiah, when you get there, go ahead. Verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came to him and said, Teacher, what righteous thing may I do so that I may have eternal life? Well, that's easy for me. Hey, obey your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah. Mm -hmm. All right? That's real easy right there. But, hey, what is he meaning directly how to obey uh, the law to get eternal life, right? We want to see this, basically. He says, and behold, one came to him and said, teacher, what righteous, and this is righteous, it's righteous to honor your father and your mother, That's right. right? But it's even more righteous to honor your who are your father mm -hmm. and your mother Torah, mm -hmm. right? So that's a level above your, your worldly mother and father, mm -hmm. which you should honor and obey, right? But we're talking about how to honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah, right? So, he said, what righteous thing may I do so that I may have eternal life? What's on the table? Eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal life equates to what? Salvation, right? Everybody wants to be delivered into salvation. Nobody wants to be delivered into damnation, right? So, what is he going to tell this man in order to receive salvation, what must you do first? Go ahead. Verse 17. Uh -huh. But he said to him, why do you question me about righteousness? Uh -huh. There is only one who is the standard of perfection, and that is Yahuwah. Wait a minute. So he's telling us that first and foremost, don't be questioning me about righteousness. You should go question your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah, because your father is the standard of perfection, brothers and sisters. See, this is why we say you're supposed to worship Yahuwah right. and not Yahusha, right? So we need to understand that it's super important that it said that the Mashiach never said to worship him, no. right? He's not our father. He's our brother. Man. That's what he is. He's our, he's our elder brother, poor like that. Right. He, he didn't want dad left in charge right. when him and mama went on vacation, right? right? Say, hey, son, don't let the kids turn the house up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now we're understanding that, hey, it's all about the father. Mm -hmm. How to honor the father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah. Right. right? Simple as that, right? So he says, but, he said to him, why do you question me about righteousness? There is only one 
who is the standard of perfection, and that is Yahuwah. So if you will what? Enter into life. Uh -huh. Keep the laws of Yahuwah. If you want to receive salvation, keep Torah. Hang out with your mom. All right? Respect your dad. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. And together you will be able to dwell in the eternal house with them. Mm -hmm. Right? That's all we'll be shooting for, right? Mm -hmm. So he says that, hey, if you will enter into eternal life, right? Keep the law of Yahuwah. Yahuwah. What law is he talking about, though? Yeah, go ahead. Verse 18. Uh -huh. He then asked Yahushua, which one? Uh -huh. Yahushua said, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false testimony. Honor your father and mother, and you, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Hey, man, that's the embodiment of the law, mm -hmm. right? He said, don't kill, don't steal, don't bear false witness, and you had better honor your father, your whore, and your mother, Torah, as well as your physical father and your physical mother, mm -hmm. basically, right? So let's go a little further with that. Let's go back to Exodus, but chapter 21. Let's see what we're not supposed to do, which allow us to be disobedient to our father and our mother, right? So now, in Exodus chapter 21, right? What does the law say we are not supposed to do? Remember, our mother is Torah. What's in Torah? The law of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. right? So mom says, hey, you better pay attention to what your dad's saying and don't do this, right? To neither one of us, right? Exodus uh, 21, we're going to read verse 17, right? Right. Exodus 21 and verse 17. Go ahead. Uh, verse 17. Uh -huh. And he who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. Wait a minute. If you curse your parents out of existence, Basically, right? If you say, oh, I wish you was dead, or you get on my nerves, go drop dead, mm -hmm. right? Or you start using all type of bad language that demean your parents, you always say, don't do that, mm -hmm. right? So when you say, I'm not going to call on the name of Yahuwah, and I'm going to call on something else, you have just cursed Yahuwah, mm -hmm. right? Because you call him something that he's not, mm -hmm. right? You call him all out of his name. Right? Mm -hmm. that, that's what we do on the streets today. Right. But the, the, the Joneses and all that uh -huh. good stuff. Uh -huh. Hey, brothers and sisters, all we saying is we want you to know how to honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah, mm -hmm. by using the example of your biological parents, right? Whether they are, you've been adopted or you're born to a set of parents, mm -hmm. whatever, you know. Honor. Honor means to respect, means to be obedient, you know, it means to, to, to be able to uh, compromise. Well, most kids ain't going to be able to compromise. And we're going to tell you why it happens when you, you don't want to do what your parents say, you want to compromise with mm -hmm. your parents, right? We're going to see what that's what all about, too. But before we do that, let's go to Deuteronomy 27. Because here's something else we're told not to do against our parents, brothers and sisters. So don't do this against Yahuwah either, right? Don't forsake the holy instructions. Don't forsake the holy instructions. Mm -hmm. Don't forsake the holy instructions. Right? Don't forsake them. Don't forsake them, right? So here's another example of how you can forsake the holy instructions, right? Deuteronomy 27, verse 16. Akiyam, you get that? Go ahead. Verse 16. Uh-huh. Cursed is the one who treats his father or his mother without honor. Wait a minute. Cursed is he who treats his father or his mother without honor, right? Mm -hmm. And King James Version says, Cursed is he that set light over his father and his mother, which means that you don't pay attention to their directions, mm -hmm. right? So if you're going to be disobedient and not pay attention to the instructions of your father and your mother, then you should be cursed mm -hmm. to your whore. Because if you're going to disobey your father and your mother who are right here in your face, mm -hmm. it's easy for you to say, I'm going to disobey Yahuwah, mm -hmm. right? And Yahuwah ain't having that, basically, right? But let's see an incident. Let's get an example of, of, of a fist fight over not, not paying attention to the parents' instructions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they want to duke it out, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, Leviticus, the 24th chapter. Leviticus 24, right? Mm -hmm. And again... We, we got to take it seriously when it comes to learning to serve and be obedient to Yahuwah, our Father, and respect His spoken word and Torah, 
brothers and sisters. Just like we say, we love our father and our mother. Mm -hmm. Let's love our father, the creator, and our mother, Torah, as well, because in the end of the day, that's who we got to deal with. That's who we got to deal that's with. That's who we got to deal with, right? Do not forsake the holy instructions, brothers and sisters, right? But uh, Leviticus, the 24th chapter, and let's pick this up at verse 10, right? Let's, let's look at the, the brother who had uh, two parents of a different nationality. Mom was a Hebrew and dad was an Egyptian, mm -hmm. right? So now he, 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 he tripping, right? And so is the guy he's going to deal with tripping, right? Mm -hmm. But let, let's see why they tripping, right? Uh, do the, uh, Leviticus 24 and 10. Uh, when you get there, go ahead. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Now the son of a Yasharal woman whose father was an Egyptian went out among the children of Yasharal and the Yasharal woman's son a man of, and a man of Yasharal fought each other in the camp. Wait a minute. So it says, now the son of a Hebrew woman, basically, right? Mm -hmm. She was Yasharal, and who, whose father was an Egyptian, right? Went out among the children of Yasharal and this Yasharal son of the woman and the man of Yasharal fought each other in the camp. Okay, so we're talking about, you know, somebody who's a half-breed. They call it today. Mm -hmm. call, call it they mix. Right? Ain't no such thing. But anyway, here, here is two men. One is fully a, a Hebrew, and the other one is, is an Egyptian. That's what it is. Because you are what your father is, right? right? So one kid, father was Egyptian, so they made him an Egyptian, though he had a Hebrew mom, and then the other son had a Hebrew mom and dad, right? And now they getting into it over what? Okay, well, we're going to try to figure it out. Right. Continue. Uh, Verse 11. Uh-huh. The Hebrew woman's son blasphemed the name of Yahuwah with the curse. Oh, so this guy whose father is an Egyptian loved God worship. Mm -hmm. And obviously the holy instructions gave instructions not to do something and he rebelled against mm -hmm. it. And then the son of the, of the Hebrew uh, father and mother, like, dude, you can't do all that. You can't say that. Right. You can't curse Yahuwah like that. Put him up, bro. We finna go toe to toe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna defend the faith and the honor of my father Yahoo. Right. right? You right. wanna deal with all the around and all and all that stuff? We finna go toe to toe. Right? But hey, he says that and uh, Yashara woman son blaspheme uh the name of Yahoo. So that's what he did. He said some things bad about Yahoo. He cursed Yahoo mm -hmm. out of existence, right? Go ahead, huh? So they brought him to Moshe. His mother's name was Shalomit. The daughter of Debri of the tribe of Dan. Uh huh. Then they put him in custody until the will of Yahuwah will be made clear to them. What did Yahuwah say? Then Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Take the blasphemer outside the camp, and all those who heard him ought to lay their hands on his head, and the entire congregation is to stone him. And the whole congregation is to stone him. Don't blaspheme Yahuwah. When the royal law says in Exodus 20, I think it's what, 7 or, or, or 6, where it says, do not take the name of your whore to bring it to nothing. Mm -hmm. That also means don't blaspheme his name. Right. Don't speak against his name. Don't speak the name of a God with his name. Right. Don't worship him in his name with a God. So what did this Egyptian kid do? Right? Mm -hmm. He 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 blasphemed your whore for the old gods that your whore cast judgment in, in command with, right? In Egypt. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. Right? Your whore said, hey, you know, if you want to live in my house, and you got to obey my rules. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So this guy didn't want to obey the rules of Yahuwah, so he got rocked to sleep, right? He got <laughs> knocked out, right. right? Unfortunately. That's not, a, that's not a good thing to be killed because you are being judged out of existence because of your foolishness in your flesh. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a tragedy. But, hey, you've been warned. Choose you this day light, or choose you this day death, right? And that young brother, unfortunately, chose Chose's death because she didn't know how to honor the father mm -hmm. Yahuwah nor the mother Torah, mm -hmm. right? So he got beside himself, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Malachi chapter 15, right? Because now when we get grown and, or we get to the, to the age where we think that we don't want to be under our parents too much anymore, we don't want to be parentalized anymore, we want to go to courts, and we want the courts to tell us that we can be emancipated from our parents, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with you no more. I ain't got to live with you no more. Give me my inheritance mm -hmm. so I can fly the coop, right? I'm done with you. I'm done with y'all, you know? Hey, 
So when they teach you the law is done away with, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. They are teaching you to be emancipated from your father Yahuwah mm -hmm. and your mother Torah, right. right? Don't be emancipated from Yahuwah or your mother Torah. Mm -hmm. Don't try to divorce Yahuwah and your mother Torah, mm -hmm. right? Don't allow the traditions of men and their court systems and their religious systems teach you how not to honor the father Yahuwah and your mother Torah, right? right. right? Or you're gonna get what the Israelite uh, of, of the Yasharelite woman in the in the verse said for blaspheming mm -hmm. and cursing Yahuwah, he got rocked to sleep, right? But hey, Matthew 15, right? Mm -hmm. Let's let's see what happens when the kids don't want to deal with their parents no more according to the the law of Yahuwah, right? So uh, Matthew 15, verse three. I can you get that? Go ahead. Verse three. Uh huh. But he answered and said to them. Why do you transgress the laws of Yahuwah by your tradition? So here's the elders, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, right? And they they come upon Yahushua and say, hey, your disciples don't wash their hands before they eat, bro. What's going on with your homies, mm -hmm. right? He said, hey, well, what's up with you and your homies? Y'all take the Torah and y'all set it aside and y'all put up tradition, mm -hmm. right? And Yahuwah didn't give you tradition. He gave you Torah. He gave you a beautiful mother to love and to respect, right, along with him. So, hey, the thing is now, but he answered and said to them, why do you transgress the laws of Yahuwah by your traditions? Go ahead. Verse 4. Uh -huh. When Yahuwah commanded, saying, honor your father and your mother, and he who curses his father or mother, let him be put to death. Oh, did we not read that in the royal law? We did. Did our mother, did not, did, did the mother tell us that in Exodus 20? Right? And then she told us in 21, don't curse your parents. No. Told us in Deuteronomy, don't set like the instructions of your parents. Oh, right. Don't don't be a knucklehead, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah, right. that your days may be long upon this earth. Brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. who don't want to live long days, man, and, and, and fertility and all that good stuff, right, right. right? But he says that, hey, for Yahuwah commanded saying, of your father and your mother, and he who curses his father or mother, let him be rocked to sleep. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead, uh, verse five. Uh huh. But you say, if anyone says to his father or mother, whatever help you might have received from me is korban or consecrated to you. Wait a minute. The law says that we're supposed to honor our father or mother. How long? Forever. Forever. Or until technically. To death do his part, mm -hmm. right? So if your parents die, then you you free from having the honor because they they're not there. Right. But Yahuwah don't die, nor do His word die. Right. So you gotta always be mindful of honoring your father Yahuwah and your mother Torah, right. right? Simple as that, right? So now He says that, uh, but your for Yahuwah commanded saying, honor your father and your mother. And he who curses his father and mother, let him die to death. But you say what? If anyone says to his father or mother, whatever help you might have received from me is korban or consecrated to you. Hey, instead of you helping your mom with the groceries because she's elderly, or your father was doing the yard because he's elderly, you say, I'm going to go and give a donation to the temple so I ain't got to go deal with that. I don't feel like going over there, my people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but what about Yahuwah, your great father? and Torah your great mother. Are you going to disobey them? Mm. Are you going to go contrary to them? Are you going to live for the traditions of men and not the work of Yahuwah through Torah? Man, we we got, we, we way off and left here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees are just so redundant and terrible with the traditions that we think that everything in religion is righteous and it's not. It's not, brothers and sisters, because if you don't know how to honor your father and your mother, how are you going to honor your who are your father and your mother Torah when you want to blaspheme and curse everything, mm -hmm. right? So continue, uh, verse 6, uh -huh. so he does not dishonor father or mother by withholding it from them. In this way you have set aside the law of Yahuwah for your own tradition. Oh, so it's like, let's do an example of like, uh, What's the brother name? Play for the Cowboys, number 88, uh, Dez, right? Dez Bryant. Dez Bryant, right? How the report says that because when he became an NFL player, 
he dishonored his mom, mm -hmm. right? Because he socked her in her face. I bought you this. You go do what I say, right? Mm -hmm. Or I don't want to deal with you. That's a bad thing to do, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Absolutely. But the world tells us through the traditions of foolishness that we have the right to dishonor our parents, mm -hmm. right? So in religion, they teach us we have the right to dishonor our father, Yahuwah, and our mother, Torah. We dishonor them through the traditions of men. So you say whatever I offer to the temple is korban to set me free from really helping my mom. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did a good thing to help his mom for buying the house as a gift if she needed it, but to cast authority over her and to curse her and stuff by socking her in her face, which the report said, you know, I'm going to use the word allegedly, right? Right, that's good. Yeah, that's good, all right? So, hey, but <laughs> we all know what happened. We all, we all seen the report. But let's look at it at, is it righteous according to the scripture or is it bogus in tradition, right? So if you honor your father and your mother, you ain't going to cold cock you and your parents. No. You ain't going to curse them unto death out of this world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to love them for as long as they are here. Mm -hmm. And with Yahuwah, you got to learn to love him for eternity because he's here for what? Eternity, right? <laughs> right? Well, hey, what verse you just read? Six? Six. Six. So he says, so he does not honor, so he does not dishonor father or mother by withholding it from them, the gift that is. This is the way you have set, in this way you have set aside the law of Yahuwah to honor your father and your mother for the traditions of men, emancipation. Mm -hmm. Right? Simple as that. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Verse 7. Uh -huh. Hypocrites. Hypocrites you are. Well did Yeshua prophesy of you saying, uh -huh. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me. Why? But in vain they do worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of me. Hey, the court system, the DCFSs, all these places, the school with the bad administration mm -hmm. telling you that as parents we can't do certain things with our kids. You can't corporal punish your kids at home. Well, why the heck, heck not? You know, if he if he's been this this really, I gotta check him, right? Mm -hmm. But hey, you come to school because yeah, you know my mama, or my daddy whooped me so bad, and now he come he come emancipation, he come to court systems and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, you you child abuser. You who say hey. He who spared the rod against the child spoiled that That's child. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So train a child up the way he or she should go, that hopefully they'll come back to the truth when they go astray. Mm -hmm. All right? So, hey, stop letting society and the traditions govern your household for the most part. Mm -hmm. Allow your whore to govern your household, brothers and sisters. You have it more easier in the end. Trust me, right? We finished that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, I want to reread that last verse again. It says, but in vain they do worship me, teaching as the doctrines, the commandment of men. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, so you better be careful. So how important is it for that love relationship, that, that, uh, that balance between parent and child, mm -hmm. that the parents have a responsibility to raise and nurture the children, right? Mm -hmm. Yahuwah used Torah, our mother, as a balance to nourish us, mm -hmm. right, to, to heal us, right? But we say, uh, we don't want that Torah, we don't want that mm -hmm. mom, we don't want the dad, Yahoo, we don't want all that. We want tradition. What's in tradition? God. Religion. God. Right? We don't. We got it all messed up. Mm -hmm. We got it all messed up, brothers and sisters. You need to learn how to honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah. If you're looking for eternal life, that is. If you're not looking for eternal life, then click me off because nothing I can do to help or save you. Mm -hmm. right. they'll, they'll can share information to get you on that straight and narrow road. Right? But hey, let's go to Ephesians right quick. Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to begin to wrap it up. Ephesians chapter 6. And let's see what Shaul taken from the law, from the royal law, to explain to the fathers mm -hmm. how they need to deal with the children in their house, right? Uh, Ephesians 6 and 1, I can get there, go ahead. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Children. Children. Obey your parents and Yahuwah. If we we'll obey your parents, your father and your mother, in Yahuwah, like you would Yahuwah and Torah. Go ahead. But this is right. This is right. Honor your father and mother, 
Which is the first commandment with the promise. It's the first commandment with promise. Go ahead. That it may be well with you. And you may live long on the earth. Wait a minute. Again, who don't want to live long in, in prosperity mm -hmm. on earth? You know what I'm saying? So, but it starts with you honoring your physical father and mm -hmm. mother. So they can teach you how to honor. If they know the father, Yahuwah, and Torah, the spoken word. Go ahead. Verse 4. Uh-huh. And you, father. And you fathers, don't do this, fathers. Go ahead. Do not provoke your children to wrath. Hey, don't be coming home drunk from work because you pissed off at work. You want to come home and lay hands on your kids. But bring them up in the, in the discipline and instruction of your whole. Hey, take the time to sit still with your children. Open up Torah and teach them the lively words of your whole. Mm -hmm. Right? Teach them to understand the care of your mother, Torah. Brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Al. That was, it. that was it. Let's go to Proverbs 7. Proverbs chapter 7, right? And we're going to wrap up with two more precepts. So it's important how to honor your father, Yahuwah, if he's your father, stop calling him God. That's not honoring him. Mm -hmm. Stop calling him El. That's not honoring him. Stop saying his law is done away with. That's not honoring him. Mm -hmm. Right? So, hey, we need to be able to honor the father, reverence the father, right? And he's, he's been telling us from day one how to. Mm -hmm. But we allow God, Satan, to get in the picture and, and seduce us with traditions. And now we say traditions is binding in religion, which religion gives us theology, philosophy, the traditions of men, the commandments of men, mm -hmm. and now the broad road is so doggone broad, the whole planet almost is on its own. You know what I'm saying? Hey y'all, we gotta we gotta wake up. We gotta figure this thing out. Mm -hmm. Right? Proverbs 7, Akiya, when you get there, go ahead. Verse 1. Uh-huh. My son. Guard my words and treasure my laws within you. Uh -huh. Keep my commandments and you will live. Uh -huh. Keep my law, my Torah, instructions, and teaching as the apple of your eye. As the apple of your eye. Go ahead. Bind them upon your fingers and write them on the tablet of your mind. Uh -huh. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. Call to understanding, you are my nearest kinswoman. Hey, the sign of Yahuwah is his name and his spoken word Torah. Put that in your forehead, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Give that the right hand of fellowship, mm -hmm. right? Stop dealing with the baby elements of the beastly system because that's been around forever. We, we've been seeing that. Let's come out of Babylon, my people, he said. What's Babylon? God-worshipping teaching system mm -hmm. away from honoring your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah. Absolutely. All right? Let's go to Proverbs, uh, the fifth chapter, right? Go ahead. Verse 1. My son, listen to my wisdom. Listen to the wisdom of Yahuwah, your father. Go ahead. Lend your ear to my understanding. And understand what your mother is saying. So you may exercise discretion and your lips may guard knowledge. So you may be able to know what a lie looks like when it comes across your table. That's right. <laughs> Simple as that, right? Continue. Uh, uh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Now let's go to uh, the fourth chapter and wrap it up. Okay. Proverbs 4, verse 1. Because you children, you got to wake up. Those of us who are woke, praise Yahuwah, hallelujah. Let's continue to serve the Creator, our Father, to our Mother, teaching the Torah. But those of you who are, are lazy and you're working, you're studying, and those who are, are, are blasphemous and, and revolters of the truth of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. get yourself together while you have grace and mm -hmm. time to repent and do this thing the correct way. Because mm -hmm. remember this, we're not living to live on the world today. No. We live in the world today to get better to live tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? So all you do today is practicing how to live tomorrow right. in Torah with Yahuwah, right? So you gotta learn how to live this Torah now because Yahuwah demands us to live it tomorrow mm -hmm. in the kingdom. He gonna demand you to do it. So you might as well start training up now mm -hmm. how to live Torah, brothers and sisters, because the law is still alive and viable today. Mm -hmm. The only part of the law we're not dealing with is animal sacrifice, mm -hmm. because the Mashiach came to embody those sacrificial laws in his body to help us redeem ourselves in a more simpler fashion, mm -hmm. right? Because you can't bring a bull or a goat to your world talking about, I see and save me. Uh-uh. You got to recognize the Mashiach, his blood, the process of, of baptism and doing the Torah, right? right? 
So, how to honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah. Mm -hmm. Right? Proverbs 4, verse 1, right? Go ahead. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear, O children, the instructions of Yahuwah. Hear, O children, the instructions of Yahuwah. Pay attention. Go ahead. Pay attention so you may grow and understand. Uh -huh. For I give you sound doctrine. So, you, so do not forsake my law, my Torah, my instructions, and my teaching. Uh -huh. When I was my father's son, tender and beloved in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, let your mind retain or grasp and hold on to my words. Uh -huh. Keep my laws and live. Wait a minute. So Daoud told Solomon and, and his mother uh, Bathsheba, hey, dude, we've decided you're going to prosper. Serve Yahuwah. Right. Right? Love Yahuwah. Love Yahuwah's word. Yahuwah came to Solomon, right? Say, hey, what do you need of me to give you? He said, just give me the wisdom that I need to lead your people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't let me falsify your truth, Father. Uh -huh. Don't let me deny your name, Father. Don't saying. let me curse you, Father. Let me love you, Father. Let me obey your Torah, my mother, Father. Let me boot and preach, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, right? Hallelujah. But, but hey, family, all we need to understand is that how do we begin to learn to honor our Father Yahuwah mm -hmm. and our Mother Torah? Obedience. Pay attention to instructions. That's what we need, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Verse 5. Uh -huh. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Uh -huh. Do not forsake her wisdom and she will protect you. Go ahead. Love her and she will watch over you. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is the first in priority. So get wisdom. And with all you have gotten, Get understand. Hey, everything that we are trying to share with you, we're not trying to convert you. We're trying to share information with you. What we give you in this wisdom, all you can get, get the understanding, brothers and sisters. How to honor your father, Yahuwah, and your mother, Torah. With that, I hope someone got some understanding in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, hello, family. family.